Hi guys, this is Felix Mbewe, also known as Bonambu. I'm excited to show you something today that I've been doing and practicing for over 10 years now, since 2012, 2013 up to now. So this is the concept of conservation farming or climate smart farming. As you can see, it's a whole notion of different uh, conceptions, misconceptions and all. But one practical and simple easy thing that you need to know about conservation farming or climate smart farming as we may know it is that you focus so much on minimizing the uses of chemicals, pesticides and excessive tilling or digging of your lands. So uh, from my experience I can tell you that uh, under sustainable farming you'd find there are a lot of things that you discover as you practice. It's a journey, a long journey for that matter because it involves you to practice and learn and read more, understand more. It's heavy in terms of knowledge. You need to practice and get to learn, relearn and all. It's not a once-off thing that you can be a master in a short period of time, but with practice you get to realize and learn and you master the terrain of your soil, the weather patterns of your areas and what crops do well under uh, such practices. But let me be quick to say that uh, the results have been amazing for some of us. You can see the sunflower behind me, the maize here, and as you know, Zambia and other parts of Southern Africa have been hit by the drought. Others are calling it a dry spell, but I prefer saying it's a drought, uh, which is a climatic issue, most to do with our human intervention and interferences with nature. But meaning we need to mitigate and control that. How do we do it? By practicing ways and planting also crops that are, can easily adapt to the changes that we're experiencing of which sunflower is one of them and since we are so much fixated with the maize as Zambians as Africans we love our pulp our shima our ugari that comes from the corn now how do we continue producing this meaning we have to change the ways and means that we've been practicing farming it's not business as usual but we have to do it differently so, uh, as I mentioned, the sustainable farming guys requires extensive knowledge and practice. It's not a one-day thing that you can do. I've been practicing it for over 10 years from the time I was a little boy at the farm and the time when I got really involved with Love for Humanity Foundation, the organization that I co-founded, and now staying and living at the farm, still doing the same. Meaning the transitional process, guys, if you want to do farming at an extended or a bigger scale, it's quite labor intensive even for small scale farmers, but the results are always amazing. Also, remember that it demands a lot of paying attention to detail because issues to do with uh, pests, insects, fungal diseases, and all, they are eminent and they are a problem with uh, people at practicing climate friendly farming. Those are the major hurdles that you get to face. So, the easiest way is use as much as you can, less chemicals and practice more of the natural things that you use to control uh, whatever infestations that you have in your fields. Remember, for me, I even use uh, chickens and ducks and all kinds of birds that I have around to pick the worms, the aphids, and all those things that usually attack our crops before we plant. So I've done a number of countless videos on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and other social media platforms that discuss the best ways on how you can maximize on the land that you have. The simple message I have for you is that when you take care of the land, the land will take care of your crop, and your crop will take care of your belly and your pocket to make money. It's a simple analogy, simple explanation. And trust me, from a field and examples that I have, not just here at our farms, but also the farmers that have been teaching around Zambia in more than seven provinces now. We have testimonies, testimonials that people are testifying and giving us really good and amazing stories of how they've reduced their dependence on fertilizers, chemicals, and now they rely so much on the things that they can grow or pick from right from their homes. So it is easy. 